Let's take some time for prayer right now. Heavenly Father, Lord God, we want to just lift up our praise and our thanks to you because you are our God. You, Lord, are the almighty, the all-knowing and the all-powerful and the ever-present. And we acknowledge you today. We thank you, Lord, for all the things happening in our church family with New Wave on Friday, our kids' club. We thank you that we have two new chaplains, Nate at Nambour Special School, who has replaced Tanya, and Mark, who will be replacing Matt Brady at Burnside High next year. Thank you for your great provision in providing these chaplains, Lord. We continue to lift Stephen and Sarah Roten to you in Mexico. We know that their team is headed back to the USA, but they stay on for another week. We ask, Lord, for your protection as they visit the families that have been coming to their services and to the kids' program that they've been running. May you protect them and may you see them home safely, Lord, we ask. We pray, Lord, for the family of Kath Russ um, as they join on Tuesday for her funeral, Lord, to celebrate her life and remember all that you've done in and through her. We pray for Janice's son, John Thompson, with eye trouble, and we lift him to you. We pray, Lord, that his appointment Friday with the specialist went well. We pray for our Chinese church and Pastor Kathy and Richard, Lord, and we pray that they would continue to reach out to those in the Chinese community. But, Lord, we ask for your hand to be on any special needs that there are. We pray, Lord, for a new chappy at our Burnside Primary School as chappy Suzanne finishes this term. And Lord, there are so many who are sick or ill and we lift them to you today and ask for your special touch on them. We pray for healing where that would glorify you the most. We pray for you to be glorified in whatever your answer is, Lord God. We pray for those in our aged care centres that you would be with them, that they would know you more than anything. We pray for those caring for them, Lord, and we know that with these lockdowns, that has been more difficult to see visitors. We just pray, Lord, for them and their families as they are separated. We pray, Lord, for our world and with everything that's happening with COVID all over our world, we pray especially for our brothers and sisters here in Australia, Lord, in Victoria and New South Wales, especially in New South Wales with the lockdowns that they're happening and the constant number, high number of cases each day. Father, be with those who contract COVID, that the results or the, the symptoms would be few and far between. For those with worse symptoms, Lord, we pray that you, or more serious symptoms, Lord, we ask that you be with those nursing them and caring for them and for healing for them, Lord, and for their families who are unable to see them and for them unable to see their families. Be with them, we ask, Lord God. We ask for your hand to be on people to stop this virus, to see you glorified through all of it, Lord. Lord, you are the ultimate teacher. You have modelled for us through your Son how to disciple your people. Help us, Lord, to learn from that example and to put it into practice. Holy Spirit, as we disciple our brothers and sisters in Christ, and are discipled by others for your kingdom, help us to be attuned to your voice. Give us the word to say so that your message will be taught and help us to learn how to disciple your people in a way that they can understand and that will help them grow. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our scripture reading today comes from John Chapter 17, verses 18 to 26. John chapter 17, verses 18 to 26. As you sent me into the world, Jesus said, I have sent them into the world. For them I sanctify myself, that they too may be truly sanctified. My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message that all of them may be one, Father, just as you are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, 
that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me, so that they may be brought to complete unity. Then the world will know that you have sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am and to see my glory and the glory you've given me because you loved me before the creation of the world. Righteous Father, though the world does not know you, I know you, and they know that you have sent me. I've made you known to them and will continue to make you known in order that the love you have for me may be in them and that I myself may be in them. This is the word of our Lord. Thanks be to God. We're going to sing a wonderful song, There is a Redeemer. And then we will welcome our National and District Superintendent, Reverend Rex Rigby, who is in our church live today, but uh, has pre-recorded this message, uh, the same message that we will be hearing in church, which is, why are we here? So I pray that you are challenged by this message. If he refers to Gympie, it's because it was recorded at our Gympie church. But be blessed by the message and challenged um, after this song with Reverend Rex Rigby. <laughs> 